a terrible day at work today. You had a rough day, you should have heard my day. Oh, okay? what happened? Listen, my boss was like, get me food, get me food, get me food. I'm like, you already have food that I already ordered. What do you need more food for? And it's like, he's already overweight, but does he care? No. Uh, my boss, he's like laying on his back. He's like, touch my tummy. And then I try to touch his tummy. He's like, no, don't touch my tummy. Right? Then he bites and he claws And me. then they're like, touch my tummy. Then they're like, don't touch my tummy. Like, what are we supposed I to do? I don't know. Here? And it's just shedding everywhere. It's, it's, it's confusing it's altogether. It's just such a nightmare. Exhausting is what it is. And if you can't tell, this is our best impersonation <laughs> of what people with real jobs might be complaining about when it comes to their bosses. Do you know who my boss was? Was it Dr. Meemersworth? It was Dr. He's Meemersworth. He's my boss too. <gasps> He's a oh jerk, my gosh, right? He's such a demanding I'm little jerk. You. You're fired. Now film my kids. The point is, after a very hard day as a salary man, I am a salary man. We today are going to show you how to drink mm -hmm. like a salary man in Japan. This video was sponsored by Suntory. For special times, make it Suntory times. Hold on a second. I, this needs to be like a speech. Lost in Translation was such a huge inspiration for me. So for me to now be able to do a video for Suntory and to be able to say that line, I'm so honored. Bill Murray and I have now advertised Suntory and said the same line. I think that makes us best friends for life. This Are you fanning a, yourself with a picture of Yozas? This was a terrible day to cosplay, uh, basically, as a salary man because it's like 44 degrees in Tokyo right now. So I think we are really suffering what people normally suffer when they wear these outfits in the summertime because, oh my god. This here is a shibori. It's a wet towel that's been individually packaged mm -hmm. from what I've learned from my studies about how to drink like a salary <gasps> man. Go on, I like these facts. Uh, you're supposed to use these to wipe your hands, but if you wipe your face, it means business time is over. <gasps> Okay, you're getting a little, Ooh. getting a little too. Oh yeah. Scale. Six more, please. I mean, this is refreshing and all, but you know what's way more refreshing? Tell me. Suntory Premium Malts. We call the premium malts, but a lot of people here instead call it pre mall. It's a little bit of a shortening of the two of them. If we're gonna be cosplaying as salary men, then we have to do it. We the gotta right get way. the right terminology. Sumimasen! Premo Futatsu! On the Oh yes! Oh. This right here is the perfect pour of a Japanese beer. Kampai. Kampai. He went for it, I see. Ooh, how do people do that? How do people chug beer? You're animals. They started in high school, that's how Simon. Because we didn't drink in right. high school. We didn't. Let me just say, before coming to Japan, uh. I did not like any foam on my beer whatsoever. Uh -huh. But since coming to Japan, I've learned how to appreciate it. In fact, I even learned that there's a proper ratio you're supposed to have of 70% beer to 30% foam. That might sound really crazy because mm. most of us think of like head on beer as something that you don't want to drink. Right. But the head is extremely different. It's velvety. And then we found mm -hmm. out it's not just there to be smooth and delicious. Right. It's there to trap in the bubbles so the beer stays refreshing and fizzy right. and doesn't go flat. So it's called Kami Awa, which is known as the God Bubbles. So when you come to Japan and you drink a beer, make sure you enjoy your God Bubbles. I drank all my God Bubbles. I still have God Bubbles in mine. Ooh. I love getting these little like cabbages right here. I'm so hungry. I don't think you're supposed to use your fingers to eat that. I'll be honest, you barbarian. Rule number two, <laughs> use chopsticks when you're in Japan. <laughs> Basically, if they remember what you ordered before, I'm just asking for one more of this. And I'm gonna be saying that a lot tonight. Beer fucked. You never, ever try drinking beer without kampaiing first. Never! Kampai. Kampai choosing is a critical part to let you know mm -hmm. that it is time to let your tie down. And if you drink without kampaiing, I'm pretty sure they deport you. Yes, they so eject you. There's you like a chair be, with a button that just like, like... just straight out of the country. I'm gonna Gosh. need like at least 20 more of these basically. So I've never been served this before. Yuzu pepper on the mm. side with gyoza. I've never seen that these as are well. So little and cute. I'm not allowed to call this cute, am I? I'm like, I am a salary man. <laughs> uh, uh, just a gyoza. It's a gyoza. Uh, whatever. It's a good one. Yep. 
Do we slap tables a lot? I don't know, but we're gonna keep slapping gonna keep tables slapping. until we know what's up. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Mm. Fried gyoza and beer. This is my favorite combination in Japan. When we were in Korea, it was all about fried chicken and beer. Here, a good gyoza with some nice suntory. This is my jam. Delicious doughy carbs that have been grilled to perfection on mm -hmm. one side to allow you to have that perfect crunch that you want, but yeah. also somehow steam to maintain a bouncy foie foie texture on the outside of the dough, filled with delicious bite-sized green onion and pork. I know you know that feeling of eating a dumpling or a Hot Pocket and just scalding hot in your mouth. Grab some nice cold beer. You finish your beer. Oh my gosh. So he's gonna get another one. More beer for the wife. I am a salary man. He doesn't want he took me actually wants to Ah, edamame. It's got that saltiness that matches really well, almost mm. like eating a salted peanut, you know, a bar food, but it's healthy. I just find it so cool because the bean is inside here, the bean isn't salted, it's mm -hmm. the skin that's salted. So when you put it in your mouth, you, you taste the salt from the outside of the skin, but you eat the inside bean. So Martina and I have just oh, learned no. something it's, fundamental. It's a beanie showdown, Simon. We eat beans differently. We sure do. No, I we put eat mine in my mouth, yeah. I pull along the bean with my teeth. Mm -hmm. Well, I always pop with my fingers into my mouth. But that's risky. It could pop left or right. It could pop out. <gasps> that's why beans have popped out when you ate it. That's part of the surprise. You just pull it with your teeth? One How do you eat Martina. beans? Do you pull it with your teeth or do you pop it? With your fingers. Yeah. It's literally right? now 50-50. Let me know in the comment section below if you pop your beans or if you put them in your mouth. Little quick note right here. This is probably my favorite stool that I've ever seen. It's got a little holes in there. For those of us that are gassy, instead of like keeping it all Simon's trapped in there, it's a fart hole. It's a fart hole. He's trying instead to, of he's like hinting words, this is Wakanda level technology here. Sumimasen, beam highball, futatsu, nagashimasu. Arigato. Look at this. Oh. So the beam highball is basically a little bit of bourbon, a little bit of soda, and then a really good squidge of lemon. It's super refreshing because you've got like this bubbling, sparkling kind of like soda feel. It's not whiskey in your face, and the lemon kind of cuts through that. So even if you eat something greasy like a gyozo or other things, it's gonna be like the perfect match for it. Beam highball fact. Some people will start with a beer and then kind mm. of move on to the highball. If you, you know. start with a highball, mm -hmm. that's a clear indication to your waiter that you've had a terrible day at yep. work. That's why we started with beer and that's eased right. our way into the highball. So for this video, mm. we knew that we had to dress up like Sally Rand. This is the suit that I wear for every wedding that I go to. Martina actually had to buy clothing for this because <laughs> she doesn't have any Sally Rand suit. This is a borrowed tie. I don't know what goes in the Sally Rand's briefcase. So yes, you go first. I have my Nintendo 3DS. I have some saran wrap oh. that I could use Wait, in case I want. Is this the saran wrap? This is Japanese saran wrap. I could wrap up any food that doesn't like get finished today because of any food. Oh, what's that? that? You like want me to eat you. But I'm supposed to be listening to Simon. Ooh, I'll write you naughty thing. I'll eat you. I'll eat you so I have my favorite Ghibli movie. It's Howl's Moving Castle. When are you going to watch that? And then I have a note from my wife. She says, thank you for being so kind. I love you. Martina leaves me little notes like this around the house. You what do you have do? in your briefcase? You sure you want to see what's in my briefcase? Let's see what you got. First of all, I have a spudgy because I know that it's important sometimes to bring your spirit animal with you. Very true. I also have Duck Duck McQuackerson yep. because like I didn't want Spudgy to get lonely. Right. So I also brought my like Swallows toy. Because you're a fan. Then I brought Wolverine with me. Did you bring anything like that people actually work with? I brought hot sauce. We're not very prepared for being salary men. What are you talking We're about? cosplaying to the best of our abilities. I am a salary man. So that's it for our wonderful special mm. video about why Suntory is so amazing and about how to drink like a Japanese salary man. Yep. Now, not every single izakaya serves Suntory premium malt. Mm -hmm. So this one right here is Hakata Gekicho. It's in Shimbashi. Make sure you check it out. Also, can I just say the waitresses here are adorable. We'll definitely put a link in our info box below to let you guys come here. And then please make sure you send us pictures if you come and eat because the gyoza is so good. Good. Beer is good. The Everything beam sweet. highballs are good. This life is good, girl. This is too hot, isn't it? Sure is. Oh, 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 o
This is my dream right here, ladies and gentlemen. Being a YouTuber in Japan, doing a video for Suntory, eating a drink on camera. I hope you could feel how happy I am today. My God, this is a, a bucket list achievement for me. Being nominated for an Emmy, wouldn't give a shit. Doing something for Suntory, this is my jam.